elderly lady in a public transportation yelling at me that I should let older people sit. Me just sitting in a wheelchair? Yeah, no, I'm fairly certain older people gonna straight up out act like that a whole lot because God forbid there isn't enough of a clear indicator that you actually qualify, even though you have not been on this earth long enough. Lo and behold, age does not equal experience. This will be the exact type of same person that'll get upset for you taking the handicap spot and maybe it'll click to them that you're qualified when you chuck your prosthetic leg at them. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video for the day. We're getting back into the entitledness because you know we're going back into r slash entitled B. So you know if you would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up some wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. Let me know down below some entitled story that you've had to go with because I'd love hearing all the crap that you guys have to deal with. Some white lady just tried to do the whole I'm friends with the owner thing to me and I dead said, oh really? I didn't realize we were friends. What is your name? <laughs> LMFAO. Yeah, having worked in retail long enough, I have legitimately heard every single line that can be said towards somebody and very much I already have responses to pretty much all of it. Oh, you let us do it last time? Okay, cool. That was a one-time thing. So very much you're not allowed to do it now. Oh, I, sp uh, I spoke to somebody here. Okay, who'd you speak to? Uh, I don't know. Literally, 100% of the time, that's how that conversation goes. Still, the one that baffles me is people thinking that they don't need to get prescriptions in order to get prescription food ate to work, even though it says literally prescription on the freaking bag. I'm not kidding. You can't make this stuff up. It's that stupid. Now, speaking of entitled people that I gotta deal with on a daily basis, the people that park outside of a business with your I can park anywhere lights, but with this flashing and everything, makes me legitimately wish that we had a tow truck guy that could just wait in the parking lot, because I can guarantee you that dude's making his damn quota every single day. Your new commercial with the two dads makes me sick. Hi, Kim. If you're feeling sick, we suggest enjoying a delicious can of Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Make sure you enjoy it hot so that it can help warm up your cold, dead heart. Imagine getting ratioed by soup. Sorry this is another retail uh, tangent and everything, but if you have a big enough of a problem, I'm sorry for the next 30 seconds that you have to go with. I am sincerely sorry that this is ruining your day, but you know what? I'm gonna do it anyway. It just reminded me of somebody filling out one of those surveys because, oh god forbid, my work happened to have a little island with a rainbow during Pride Month and everything. Person called in to complain about that. My manager, who you can tell is gay from a distance, answered the phone. She apparently didn't like that. I'm like, beforehand, he saw that there was this survey person and that they were going to call in, so he he had asked her to call in. When she called in, he turned the gay up to 11. Lo and behold, after he said hello, uh, she didn't want to talk to him. No surprise there. Arizona PR exec films herself trashing a rack of face masks in Target while ranting, we don't want to do this anymore, and saying, I'm a blonde white woman wearing a freaking $40,000 Rolex. This just shows that you can have all the money in the world and still have absolutely no idea how to properly manage manage or use your time wisely. No, for some reason you think that it's totally fine to go in there and, you know, destruction of property. I am sincerely sorry that Louis Vuitton does not make a, a diamond crested seal skin face mask for your butt. Maybe if they made a $2,000 disposable face mask like that out of that material, maybe you would have a difference of opinion, but no, you want to brag about having something that everybody else has on their wrists, except you spent a shit ton of money on. Ma'am, I hate to break it to you, but being able to tell the time is not a status symbol. The children at my son's elementary school have started referring to me as a Karen and mocking my chic hairstyle. Is there anything I can do in the way of legal action to prevent this? I am deeply offended. I mean, yeah, it's pretty easy. Just stop being a Karen. Well, posing a question about suing eight-year-olds is probably the wrong way to beat the stereotype. How not to beat Karen 101? Uh, don't sue kids. I am not being a Karen, okay? Matter of fact, I would like to speak to your manager. Fuck, that's a Karen move. Never mind. I My pal's brother was with his girlfriend for seven years. Sixteen months ago, she said she wasn't happy and screwed him off for another lad. He just got a 210,000 pound inheritance 
present, and she's just been to a solicitor to see if she is entitled to any of it. Some freaking people, cheeky dude. I'm fairly certain to be able to be entitled to any bit of the inheritance, you have to be part of the family, a that of which you are very much not, ma'am, so you can royally screw off now. There must be some kind of secret back room to the British equivalent of Costco with you coming in here with all that audacity now. Hi, I want to get my lashes done with you, but I just wanted to say first that, uh, I don't want to talk during the appointment due to the fact that I clearly do not like you as a person. I just like your work and your work only. I need an appointment tomorrow morning. Put me down for a 10 a.m. <laughs> No. Hey, I don't like you as a person, but hey, I, I kind of respect your, uh, the uh, skill that you have, but I don't want to talk to you at all. Can you shoehorn me into the next available thing, even though there's likely somebody already in that spot for that reservation? Thank you very much. A woman sues a 12-year-old cyclist because her car got scratched when she hit him. How dare you scratch my car, even though you just sent them airborne because you hit them with it. I'm sorry, but, but where in the shit do you see in your mind? that you are in the right, because there's got to be some miracle that's harder to find than Atlantis as to where that exists. And I can guarantee you it's not anywhere near the cognitive thought process that you think you have. That's like shooting somebody and then getting upset because they dirtied one of your bullets. I really do hope that the kid on this gets a lot of compensation and all, because... What the shit? I haven't seen a post that made me think, yeah, no, this is 100% gonna be the thumbnail in a hot minute, but this is very much one of them. Wow, I'm on a plane full of patriots flying from DC to Phoenix, and we start chanting, USA, and the captain came on and told us he'd drop us off in Kansas if he'd have to, if we didn't obey their every single rule. American Airlines is ever everything but American. You also probably think that American Express is the most American card company ever, isn't it? Yet, lo and behold, you cause a disturbance on the plane and the pilot isn't really able to concentrate and you're annoying the crap out of them. They come back there and treat you like a damn child saying, I will turn this around right now if you do not shut up. Don't punish big families is what he wrote after scratching out the gratuity. Good thing it doesn't work like that. How about do you not punish wait staff because you don't believe in birth control? I've got five mouths to feed myself, not including my animals. If you can't afford to tip, you can't afford to eat out. Especially at Christmas, after your better than me butt just got done praying and asking God to bless those less fortunate than you. What a joke. You should be ashamed at the lesson you taught your kids last night. We make 213 an hour plus tips. If you stiff me, I still have to pay a percentage of your check to the bartender, busser, and a host out of my pocket. You'd figure a professor of SFA would understand that. Hashtag server life, hashtag bartender life. The more I see this, the more I'm starting to realize that in the entitled subreddits are really just an audacity compilation. Plus, I can also imagine that part of this is just to having to tolerate all of the little immature kids that you got coming with you because, uh, lo and behold, some of this is likely going to be covering your kids being loud, disruptive, and all that stuff. And it really does upset me that there are businesses that have this kind of loophole where, oh yeah, you'll be able to survive off tips where no very much people like this are making that not a possible thing and a lot of times pretty much every single time i've gone into a place that has this type of automatic gratuity thing it's advertised beforehand that this is going to happen so dingbat here either saw the sign or didn't wish to see the sign and then acted like they didn't see the sign and was caught off guard even though it's very much advertised that if you have a huge party with you automatic gratuity is a thing. I'm really hoping that this business still charged them the $140 that they were supposed to be paying instead of having to take the money out of the busser or out of the money of the people that have to tolerate their butt. That would not be right. Free TV and TV stand for free? Not for free. If yeah, uh, bottom line contact, the person wanted it delivered to them for free. So I'm not entitled to a free TV because I do not drive SMH and I get to be charged 
delivery for something that's free? SMH. Uh, ever since Trump got in the White House, you people have been confused. I'm not driving our one way to give you something for free. It ain't my fault you can't freaking drive, you freaking loser. I'll throw it out before I deliver it for free. How dare you want me to do something for free that's gonna be two hours out of my way? Oh, you sure aren't entitled to a free TV because you don't drive, but you definitely are entitled just, you know, in your own head. But, you know, let me guess how many SMHs you're gonna be throwing the way then, because honestly, my guess is around 62 more. Do all of the adults who have managed to get a PS5 for themselves not feel bad that it probably means a child won't be able to open one on Christmas Day? You you are pretty much snatching it straight from Santa's sack. I never got the gift anywhere near that expensive as a kid, and all of my consoles were secondhand until I was 20 and worked in the industry. So I honestly hadn't even considered it. If there are kids upset that they didn't get a PS5, they're spoiled as heck. I mean, it's very much stuff like this, which is why I very much do remember there being a lot of stuff around the holidays with Santa complaining about, you know how hard it is to make an iPhone? Hey, wanna go out tonight? Yeah, after what you did last time, you expect to go out with me again? <laughs> wow. What have I done? You made me pay for my own food and drink while you paid only for yours. What the frick? So, you invited me, lol. You are lucky I didn't pay for my food too. Plus, I got a carbonara and a beer while you got a lobster and an 80 euro wine. My food was 1750, while yours was 110. And you were really expecting me to pay for that? I'm a student, not your sugar daddy. Wow, you are so rude. I'm never going out with you ever again. If you can't pay for a girl's food, then why accepting the invite? Gentlemen always pay for a girl's food, but I guess you are gay. Ah uh, yes, you know, because if you don't pay for the 110 bill and uh, uh, even though you only got 1750 that totally makes you homosexual. Fellas, is it gay to not spend $110 on someone else's food? I guess. Actually, I am a gentleman, and that's why I stayed and not left while you were talking about how much you like blank and that you wanted to make out with him. Oh, <laughs> Wait, hold on, so was that even a date or what? Ma'am, just tell him to his face that you have food icons next to his contact information. F off, Blank. All you wanted anyways is to have S with me anyways. Bye, loser. Ah, yes, uh, from coming from the person who all she wanted was a free meal out of him. Well, of course I wanted to have S with you, but then I realized I might not have 20 euros for that. Freaking a-hole. Love you too. What is that, Stalin? I've stated in the past that I'm on the side of the person paying being inclined to pay if they are the one that asks somebody else out. However, if the other person wants to chip in and pay for their own part, that also is understandable. At no point in time should anybody ever feel justified in inviting somebody else out and then expecting that person that they invited out to pay for the meal, especially if your bill is more than five times the amount of the other person. Seriously, it really is, sucks that there are people out there that think that it is perfectly fine to treat somebody like that. I used a gender neutral bathroom today and two men came in while I was washing my hands. Man number one didn't care and used the bathroom in front of me. Man two waited outside of the bathroom until I left after seeing me inside. I think man number two for respecting my privacy. I felt so violated. So man number one treated you as an equal in a gender neutral bathroom and man number two treated you like a woman. I, I don't know which one you want as treatment, but both treated you with respect and neither violated you. Yeah, really not sure how you can be going into a bathroom that doesn't exactly have a designated gender and uh, having a problem with the functions of that bathroom being used. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the most internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. I'd like to cover more of the Entitled Beast subreddit because Jesus Christ, entitledness is everywhere. So, you know what? I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Bye bye.
Thank you.